по одному из параметров ливийский режим не подходит под... The Libyan regime does not meet the criteria of a democratic country by any parameters. It's obvious. I can't add more. But of course, it's a complicated country based on relations between tribes. It needs special regulation. The situation in the country collapsed into military conflict. But it doesn't mean you or anyone can interfere by defending one side about the UN resolution, which gives grounds for the present military intervention. This resolution is defective. If we look at what is written there, it becomes obvious that it allows anyone to take any action against a sovereign state. And it reminds me of a medieval call for a crusade, when countries call on each other to go out and liberate something. Now, concerning the core of events, by the way, Russia didn't vote for this resolution. It's obvious that this is military interference from the outside. But you know, I don't worry more about this military intervention. There are a lot of military conflicts going on and unfortunately will unfold in future. I'm worried more about the ease with which decisions are being made to use force in international affairs nowadays. For example, it has become a steady trend in US policy. During Clinton's era, they bombed Yugoslavia and Belgrade. Bush invaded Afghanistan. Iraq was invaded under far-fetched false pretenses, liquidating an entire administration, including Saddam's children. And now it's Libya's turn. It opens with a pretext to defend civilians, but it's the civilians who die under the bombs during airstrikes. Where is the logic and conscience here? Both are absent. There are already victims among the civilians. What I want to say here is that we want and we plan to live in peace with everybody. We desire not to quarrel with anyone, and more so to be at war. But current developments in Libya confirm Russia's policy of building up its defenses is correct. Thank <laughs> you.